This is Roger with True Aquaponics. I just wanted to show you our system uh, and show you the deficiency we have right now, which happens to be a potassium deficiency. You notice we've got a lot of plants that are wilting. Um, once it cools down, they'll they'll come back to life. What I want you to see, this is a cauliflower, and uh, this time of the year, it should not have issues such as the tips of the leaves burning. You can see the yellowing and brown spots forming. Another video may be a little shaky, just bear with me while I walk around in here. This leaf came completely loose. We'll put it in compost, but you can see the leaf. Hold up here, get it in the sun so you can really see it. You can see all the different discolorations, brown spots. Uh, this one really didn't have a lot of burning around the tips. That's alright because I've got one right here that does. Definitely some burning around those tips. I'm trying to change the, the light that's on this so maybe you see it a little better. Another thing that happened uh, due to this deficiency is we had an, an infestation of insects. Caterpillars, we had aphids. All of a sudden, it seemed like overnight this happened. Uh, and you can see what it did to, to this poor leaf here. There's quite a few other leaves that are damaged uh, across a variety of plants. Uh, even my kale that's fairly resistant to uh, bug infestations. Uh, right here you can see the holes in this leaf. I'm not really seeing the other, what, what you consider to be uh, potassium deficiencies in this plant, but you can certainly see where the insects have gotten on this leaf and, and eaten it. Anyway, we uh, actually added some potassium sulfate today, an organic compound, uh, and you can find that on the site now. You go to proaquaponics.com, and uh, on the left side of the page, just click the button that says find your supplements here. Uh, you can look on there and, and get some. It's the cheapest I've been able to find so far, and as we get it cheaper, we'll be able to post it cheaper. So check that out, and uh, as always, come back and visit through all as often as you can. Well, you'll see over here in this bed, this is a Brussels sprout. We've just got all kinds of nice stuff growing, and uh, lots of kale. We love kale. And then down in here, this is where we had our heaviest infestation of, of aphids. It was on these four little twist chards. And I got rid of those. Uh, it, it took one day, one treatment to get rid of them. And I'll, I'll tell how I do that on the website. Uh, basically, it's, it's a, a liquid ivory soap that's clear, mixed with some water, sprayed right on the plant, uh, on the aphids, kill them off, and then wash it away. Uh, we don't want to overdo it and use too much because we don't want a lot of soap in our system for obvious reasons. Uh, we do want clean fish, but we don't want them clean like that. Here's another spot right here. You see the burnt tip? This is another cauliflower that just is not doing well. A lot of that is because it's get, not getting much sun. You see here I've got plants all around it that are shading it. Um, so as I get new plants coming up, I'll probably go ahead and pull that poor thing out. We'll eat what's edible and uh, compost the rest. All right, folks, that's it from True Aquaponics for now. Uh, again, we're, we're adding supplements right now. Yesterday was, was iron, uh, and it is the iron that is for the widest range of uh, systems as far as pH goes from 5 all the way up to pH 9 so if you're very alkaline this pH will still allow your plants to take up iron um, if you don't want to buy that that type of uh, iron for whatever reason uh, primarily because and I don't know if you can see it but it actually turns your water red let me just uh, get a glass here and show you Maybe you can see it. It looks almost brown on this camera. I don't know if it's going to look red in the video, but uh, it it turns your water red for a time. It doesn't hurt a thing. It's just the, the chelation uh, um, product that they use in this iron turns it red, and that's just one of those things. Here we've got another leaf uh, on another plant. People would almost say that's nitrogen deficiency, but it's not. We actually have... Uh, very very high rates of nitrogen right now or nitrate rather uh, so it's not that it, it is a, a potassium deficiency or this poor leaf had just died on its own one or the other anyway uh, we're gonna let it go with that glad you dropped by and I uh, hope to see you next time